Hello and welcome back to We Who Are About To Die. Oh yes, it has been a while, has it not? Yes, indeed. All right, so I still have Mr. Moreberry time here, Momo Strikeri, as he is known otherwise. And uh, yeah, I still have my same gear, as you can see right here. I basically haven't been upgrading myself at all. And we are almost there. Oh yes, we are almost to the ascended rank. In other words, we are almost to 10 million score, as you can see right there. So that would basically be complete and utter domination over the game. And as a result, we would be pretty much done. Yeah, we would be pretty much done with it. However, of course, we still have a couple of challenges to do. I'm actually going to do this wildcard mission. I think that seems pretty fun. Um, but yes, I have obviously been uh, grinding away here. I actually found it quite fun when I wasn't putting too much of a, a huge amount of pressure on myself because I was uh, I was kind of like thinking that I had to I had to complete it really fast. You know, I had to complete it really fast. Really, ah, oh, you know, putting too much pressure on myself. So, you know, I took a a day or two. And then I just started to do a couple of casual matches here and there. And uh, I actually started to have fun again. And uh, it wasn't so much of a grind, as I say. And that's the thing. I still love this game. I absolutely love this game. I think it is absolutely fantastic. And uh, uh, bear in mind, it's still in early access, you know? It is still in early access. Not a finished product by any means. But everything can always be improved, of course. Everything can always be improved. And for me personally, I haven't had any issues with the game at all, with the exception of these crashes. That's the only thing that is actually causing me problems. Uh, these days, everything else is wonderful. I am having no issues with the, with the, how the weapons handle or anything like that. Although, to be fair, I think the AI sometimes has a bit too much aggression when they use a specific type of weapon. There is a, uh, I think it's a glaive or something along those lines that is actually an incredible weapon for them, and they can do massive damage by wielding that. Absolutely massive damage, and it can come out almost instantaneously. So you, you're not even gonna, you're not even gonna see it. You're not even gonna see it coming. So it's basically just gonna murder you without you even realizing what happened. So that can happen pretty quickly, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, as you can see, look at that. I am now at 9,996,000. I am super, super close to the end. And let's see, there's a many versus one here. I guess I'll do the many versus one. It doesn't really matter. As you can see, I have over 1 million gold. And I haven't really even been betting or anything like that. So, you know, there's also that to consider as well. I could have probably made more money if I'd bet. But bear in mind, we're obviously not playing as the criminals, so the bets are not really going to be that lucrative as it stands. And I just hit one of my own guys. Well, that's actually not a good idea, is it? No. Anyway, this fellow is going to die very, very quickly. I'd be surprised if he actually survives longer than 30 seconds. He is out of there. Yep, look at that. Not even, not even 15 seconds. Yeah, we actually uh, took him out at uh, 14 seconds or something like that. But this is exactly what can happen later on in the game. And boom, look at that, we did it. And they're, they're actually giving me a godly polearm right here if I wanted to use that. That is actually hilarious. That's a really, really nice weapon. Uh, but you gotta bear in mind, I actually have no space in my inventory right here. So I have no idea what would actually happen if I, if I picked this. But I gotta say, uh, this is something that I think we're, we're probably gonna see um, a little bit more uh, changes coming in the future with the developer. Obviously, the developer is really receptive to any kind of opinion or critique or uh, suggestion or whatever. Uh, he's he's absolutely amazing uh, in, in that regard, and he is always listening to the community and what people are wanting to see. And yeah, can't wait to see what happens in the next update. Anyway, I'm going to go for the free shop rerolls because obviously I just don't have... I mean, literally, I mean, look, I don't have any space, so it makes no sense for me to take the pole arm. Anyway, um, yeah, I made it. Boom, look at that. I made it to Ascended. So there it is. And look at my, uh, my, my weapon skills. My weapon skills are all basically at 90 here. And I actually used 
a, um, I think it was like a two-handed polearm slash two-handed mace or something like that in one of my earlier battles. And I got to say, I actually, actually really liked it. I did about 40 damage every single hit. I thought that was hilarious. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're basically done. Yeah, we, uh, we completely completed the game. However, now it is time for some challenges. And don't worry, we're, we're going to do all the challenges that I outlined before. And if you have any other suggestions about what you'd like to see in regards to uh, challenges and suggestions and so on and so forth, if you'd like to give me some, then by all means, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, what we're actually going to do is I would like to find a spear if I can do that. I don't think I'm going to find one. There is a spear right there, but obviously that is not the one that we want. Uh, we actually want to find a spear because I'm doing the spear only challenge because that is obviously going to be... Uh, I, I feel like that's going to be a bit difficult. Uh, but for me, I actually don't know whether I'm even going to find one. That's the problem here. I mean, <laughs> otherwise we're just going to have to make do with a pole arm until we actually find a spear or something like that. I don't know. I mean, that's basically the, uh, the kind of thing that you're going to be seeing quite often. Um, but yeah, I, I actually don't even know whether there is a spear that I can even get that is not going to be something like, a you know, ordinary or something like that. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're actually going to take no gear. We're going to take no gear with us. So I'm basically just going to sell absolutely everything that I can. I was hoping that I could maybe take a spear. Or uh, maybe I should take my, I don't know, should I take my, my shield? No, no, I don't really need to take the godly shield, do I? I think that's maybe a little bit too, um, maybe a little bit too powerful, potentially. This is a wonderful sword, by the way. Really, really damaging. Um, but yeah, I'm actually not seeing any spears right now. So yeah, that, that's going to be a little bit, a uh, little bit difficult for us to find, potentially. But um, yeah, as I say, if we cannot find a spear right away, and obviously I'm... I, I don't know. I don't really want to re-roll for many, many days before I actually find the spear and then we can, you know, continue onward. So I'm thinking that what I'm probably going to do is I will get a, I will get an iron double chaka or an iron spike. This, this one's actually fantastic. I think this one is really, really good, by the way. I love this weapon. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe I'll use that. Yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm probably going to use that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sell absolutely every single thing. I'm going to buy this. Bear in mind, we're not going to be using pole arms throughout the entirety of the series. Of course, I'm actually going to want to use spears, but it is a case of finding a spear. And I can only hope that we are going to be able to find a spear as we uh, as we play with the new the new run. So that's what we're going to do. Anyway, I have an insane amount of money, as you can quite clearly tell. I have a massive amount of fame as well. So let's actually see how much fame we are actually going to transfer. So we're going to transfer 100, nine, well, actually, no, not, not 100, 992,000, yeah, 992,000 fame into gold. Boom. That gave me 342,000 gold, which is hilarious. And now we can invest all of that money. And this is going to take... Oh, oh my. This is actually going to take me a lot... Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Ah, uh, speed investing. Yes, speed investing. It's going to take me a long time. Actually, no, it's, it's not even going to take me that long. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's not going to take me that long at all. But yeah, you can see exactly the kind of craziness that can happen. And we're just going to invest the rest right there. And there you go. All right. So I basically nothing. And we can now immortalize ourselves. Uh, we have the uh, the weapon that we wanted, right? Yeah, this is the weapon that I wanted to go with. And we are going to try and find a spear in our new playthrough. Let's have a look and see if we get something good. All right. So obviously we, are, we have already seen the victory screen once before. So we don't really need to do that. And let's start a new run. Here we go. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Okay, we're getting a slave, actually. Hmm. Not sure if I really like that that much, but okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. What should we do? Nickname. Uh, uh, Swiss cheese. Because obviously, get it? You know, because we've got, we got a spear and we're going to poke holes in the enemy. 
and Swiss cheese has holes in it. Uh, 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 yeah, I'll let myself out. Anyway, so yeah, this is obviously going to be pretty harsh in terms of the amount of gold that we get. But does it matter? <laughs> no, not really, because we have 188,000 gold, which is kind of uh, hilarious in itself. Okay, so we start off with a spear, hilariously enough. We actually start off with a spear. So I'm actually not sure. Should I even bother using the polearm or should I just start using the spear? I should probably just start using the spear, shouldn't I? All right, so we'll start using the spear and otherwise we don't really have anything else. I, uh, I, I mean, I can trade. I can trade some gold for some fame. Technically, I can do that if I want to. Uh, so yeah, why not? Let's, um, is this going to make it too easy? That's the, that's the question here. Is it going to make it too easy? Let's just transfer 50,000 to 17,000 fame and we can actually get entourage straight away if we want to. Uh, we might as well do that. And let's get extraordinary and we'll get, uh, we who are about to disinfect and all that wonderful stuff. And we can obviously train in spears as well. Let's actually unlock this. Let's unlock this. Shield pan. Haha, ha, shield pan already. All right. So let's just re-roll real quick. Uh, it's highly unlikely I'm actually going to find anything that is spear-like. Um, oh, no. I'm kind of worried now, actually. Yeah, I'm kind of worried. Oh, well. Uh, this is a blunt weapon, though. So it's going to be pretty difficult for us to use it. But we're going to try it, nevertheless. It is the spear challenge. So spear with a shield. I will uh, train stamina as well, obviously. So let's just do this. There we go. Uh, is there anything else that I want to go for here? Yeah, I kind of want to get spears, but I don't know whether... Are they two-handed weapons? No, not really, right? No, they're not really two-handed weapons. They're not really two-handed weapons. So I guess one-handed weapons. I guess we'll try and see if whether we can get some one-handed weapons. All right, so we can actually unlock that for, well, for 10,000, but obviously that's not really going to help me that much. Spoils to the victor. I mean, does it really matter? None of this actually really matters. I guess we'll do one versus many, and we'll see whether I can win. This is going to be funny as well, because bear in mind, I actually do not have a lot of stamina. I am very low in regards to our skills, and I only have a spear. So um, <laughs> bear in mind, I'm not kitting myself out in the best possible gear. I'm not giving myself any of these amazing weapons that I could potentially get and all that wonderful stuff. You know, we're basically going in with pretty much what we would have if we started off without any heirlooms at all. And that's obviously very much on purpose. So, oh, what? Skill with pole arms increased? Why is skill with pole arms increased? That shouldn't have happened. It should have increased my spear, spear attacks. Oh, well, never mind. Let's just do a little bit of pokey pokey with this. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is actually, this is actually an amazing weapon, amusingly enough, if you can believe that. Okay, let's just uh, let's just be a little bit careful here. I want my stamina to come back. There we go. This guy's going to die really, really fast or soon enough. Let's just push him back real quick. Okay, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful here as well. There are uh, many reasons why we would not want people to get close to us. There we go. Okay, that guy's that guy's almost dead. He's really, really close to death. There we go. He's dead. Fantastic. Now we can go for some overheads on this guy. This is a hilarious weapon, actually. <laughs> it seems to be working really nicely for us, surprisingly enough. Oh, he actually threw that at me. Can you believe it? All right. Uh, that's actually really fine, though, because let's face it, he has a branch in his hand. He has a literal stick. All right. Now he has something else that he is using, but that's absolutely fine because he's going to die. This is uh, rather amusing, actually, that we're even uh, even doing anything here. I mean, it, I, I, it's just kind of strange that this is a spear. This is supposed to be a spear, but it is not giving me spear skill. It's giving me polearm skill. All right, I'm going to have to take a look at this after the battle is over, because I'm, I'm going to assume that I will win. Um, I'm, I, if I can, if I can assume uh, to be that audacious... Because you never know, maybe uh, maybe I'm going to make a mistake or something like that and just get absolutely murdered. I mean, that has happened to me, so can be a bit careful about it. But there you go, look at that, it's wonderful. Okay, so very surprising turn of events. I'm hoping that we're actually... Whoa, we, uh, we increased our rank to four already? Are you serious? Okay, so we can go for movement skill or we can go for more fame. 
Don't really care that much about movement skill with this kind of build, so I'm not going to be doing anything with movement skill right here. Oh, pole arm skill. I guess that's going to be kind of nice. Let's go for some more pole arm skill. We actually leveled up significantly. We can get some more fame as well. If we want to do that, I guess we will get some more fame. Why not? Might be kind of useful. And I don't really need a medic right now, so I'm just going to donate a thousand to people in need to gain some fame and all that wonderful stuff. And uh, yeah, so let's actually take a quick look and see. No, that was actually pole arms. Yeah, that was actually a polearm based weapon. So for me, training spear, that was a complete waste. That is really, really weird. All right, not sure why that happened. But I guess I'm just going to unlock this now. And we will try if we can. Oh, there's a spear. Oh, fantastic. This is absolutely perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. Okay, wonderful. So we're just going to buy that and we'll then use this. Okay. And now technically I can actually sell these things as well. I mean, I want to get some better boots, to be honest. Um, yeah, okay, so we're just going to do this. Let's do, um, uh, yeah, let's do some, let's do some training with spears once again. And we'll go for, um, I don't even know, to be honest. I, I guess we'll go for a uh, seal of approval. We could go for heirloom if we wanted to. We'll just go for this. We'll go for this. Uh, I'm not going to go for unionized just yet. I don't think that that's particularly useful. And, uh, well, at least not right now. And uh, yeah, so we're going to obviously try to increase our spears. Okay, so I'm going to go for pokies, all right? I'm going to go for pokey pokey, and we'll see how that works. I could potentially re-roll and try to get some armor. Might make sense. Oh, wow, you, you're giving me basically nothing at all. I can use the shield pan as a, uh, as a way to uh, get myself some fame. But do I want to use the shield pan? I don't know, not particularly. I could get this spear, this spear, I mean this spear, this shield, uh, it's, it's alright, it's alright, I mean generally it's okay, I mean I could potentially, yeah why not, why not, let's get it, it is going to give me 15% increased fame, which is exactly what I'm kind of looking for right now, I'm looking for fame most of the time here, alright, so what else do we have, we got a 1 versus 1, we got Entourage, which we could potentially take advantage of right now, uh, let's see the rewards. The rewards are not looking particularly good on any of these things. So I guess I'm actually going to take the, 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 the pit fight because this is actually going to provide us with a pretty significant opportunity to level up our spear skill, which is the entire reason why we want to do that. So let's try it out. And I'm going to try and do a little bit of stabby stabby action here. This is going to be kind of interesting to me because I'm not used to doing this, okay? I'm not used to doing this at all, so um, let's see if we can do it. And hopefully I'm not going to die because I am very weakened. I am very weakened in comparison to what you might expect because I don't have any armor, of course. Okay, what is that? Why, why, is this, why is this rotating? Whoa, this guy literally took so much damage from this spear. Look, look at how much damage we're dealing. This is insanity. Okay, he, he's uh, he, he's cr closing in on us, but yeah, we, 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 we're, we're fine. As you can see, he's actually dead that fast. All right. Um, yeah, that is kind of hilarious. This is an incredible weapon, I gotta say. Look at how much damage I'm able to do. And I can just stay out of range. This guy doesn't even know what's up. <laughs> I can just stay away from him. And I can do massive damage in the meantime. Obviously, this is not going to remain this way the entire playthrough, I don't think. This is just initially, because of course, you know, the enemy has basically no gear whatsoever. So they're very, very lightly armored. It's going to be super easy for us to deal damage to them and everything. And later on down the line, that's of course going to change. Look, look, look at what? <laughs> look at how easy that was. That was hilarious. Okay, can we get some more? I want some more skill, please. Can I get some more spear skill? I want to try and, uh, I want to try and get this guy. There we go. Nice little headshot right there. Okay, I've got to be careful. Don't really want to take any more damage if I can help it. This is an amazing spear, though. Because this is a, a very long weapon. As you can see, I actually gain skill by attacking my own units as well, which is actually kind of hilarious. Um, but yeah, we're uh, apparently doing pretty well. Not too bad. And my spear skill is going to be literally, I don't even know, 80? Is it going to be 80 at the end of this? I have no idea, but it is hopefully going to be pretty good. 
I would like to get some increased HP as possible, if possible as well. Um, so I'm hopeful that maybe they're going to give me, maybe they're going to give me the opportunity to uh, level that up once I have leveled once again. Because obviously the limited amount of times that you can actually level up does prevent you from, you know, actually becoming a little bit more dangerous. Because as it stands right now, I'm obviously thinking to myself, okay, I have very little HP. You know, my other character that actually made it to 10 million, he had 100 HP as well. He didn't once get any kind of HP upgrade, which was very... Uh, a bit dicey at times, a bit dicey, but thankfully I was able to obviously achieve that. But can you imagine if you if you you know need the HP? Uh, you know, I mean, one of my previous characters, the uh, professional aspirant, I believe it was, actually did have around 140 HP, which is actually kind of crazy. Um, that is a pretty pretty good amount of of max HP to have. I think I think he had that at least somewhere around there. This damage though. This damage. Look at look at the amount of damage that we're dealing. Look at that. 17.6. And we've just started playing. That's the whole point. We've just started playing. And I'm still... I'm doing 17.6 in damage most of the time. I mean, look at that. 19 damage to the head right there. This guy is obviously trying to kill me too. So we need to do something with him. He's got a spear as well. How dare you, sir? You are not allowed to have a spear. It is, it is me. It is my domain now. Yes. We will murder you. We will murder you very, very well indeed. Can we actually take him down? The question is, can we? Because I need my stamina to come back. There we go. Nice. Look at that. What, 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 what's going on with it? What's going on with it? It's so incredibly accurate and so damaging. It's actually kind of incredible. All right. So we did the pit fight. And my rank has increased once again. Okay. Can we get... Oh, pff, this is all terrible. I'll go for dashing skill, I guess. That, that they were They were really awful. All right, so, yeah, as you can see, my spear obviously is going to be really, really taking a battering. It's going to take a huge battering right here. So, not sure how that's really going to go, because I'm going to need another one, right? I'm going to need another one that actually provides me with, you know, some kind of uh, replacement, you know? Some kind of replacement that can potentially help us. Ooh, yes, this is wonderful. I will take this helmet. I will buy these as well. Uh, iron buckler is looking okay. Spike shields are alright as well. But yeah, we're mostly looking for... I mean, the this helmet is absolutely amazing, of course. But do we actually want to go for a really good helmet? I mean, right now, I can obviously afford it. But uh, maybe not, right? Maybe not just yet. Not just yet. But maybe sometime in the future. Let's just see what else we have here. No, I'm looking for I'm looking for this spear. All right, I'm looking for this spear. I'm probably gonna have to call for uh, you know an order or something like that because as it stands right now, I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting very lucky here. I mean, this is a great mace, by the way. Highly recommended to use this mace if you you know need something that destroys shields. It's absolutely fantastic. As you can see, it literally has a piercing stab as well, and it also does 50% additional damage against shields, which is absolutely amazing. It really is. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think I will reroll one more time. Yeah, we're not getting lucky with this at all. Kind of sad. Kind of sad. Yeah, we're not getting lucky. All right, so I guess I'm going to have to use this pole arm while my spear is repaired because I don't have any others, and I'm going to have to ask for sturdy gear to be uh, to be ordered. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, I guess we'll just do that. And I have no fame to spend on any of this stuff, but I can, of course, train myself. Let's have a look. I got, wow, I am at 56.8 spear skill, which is actually pretty awesome. So we're going to do exactly that once again. Uh, actually, wait a minute. I'm using a pole arm this time. Huh. Alright. Well, at the moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use pole arms instead for my training. Because it seems like the next best thing, if I don't have a spear available, is to literally just use a pole arm. That's the only thing I can kind of come up with right now. If you have any suggestions regarding that, then by all means let me know. Otherwise, let's have a look. Oh, I can't actually reveal this. Are you serious? It's a one versus one. I have no idea what this is. 
don't know what this is either. Okay, I guess we'll do the one versus one. I have no clue. All right, I guess we'll see. Uh, win within three minutes. Yeah, I think I can win within three minutes, surely. Right? Right? Can I? Maybe? Uh, yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, never mind. We have Entourage. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know it was Entourage, obviously, because I obviously couldn't uncover it or anything. And my, uh, my friend here actually has the Iron Claw. You know, that amazing weapon that I really love? Yes, yes, that fellow also has that. So, yeah, this guy is not even going to know what hit him. He, he doesn't even have a shield. You can see how much damage this actually does as well. It's actually pretty crazy. Um, if I can actually hit with it properly, obviously I don't really have that much polearm skill right now, so of course I'm not going to really have the opportunity to really level it up. Oh, are you serious right now? This is terrible. Okay, wait. I'm going to have to wait for my stamina to come back. Hopefully my friends will not kill him in the meantime. There we go. And there's... <laughs> As I said, 43 damage. 43 damage. That's actually insanity, but there you go. That was... Um, yeah, that was much, much easier than anticipated. Uh, yeah, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's have a look. I'd like more options in the shop after every match. There we go. Okay, so we have a sturdy here. We have a sturdy order. Uh, these braces could actually be kind of useful, so I guess I'm going to purchase them. Uh, we have a one-handed sword, one-handed sword. We have a shield. Yeah, these are not looking particularly good for me right now. That is kind of sad. Guess I will re-roll once again. Uh, do we get... Yes, there it is. All right, we got another one. Fantastic. Okay, so now we can actually start doing the business. Oh, yes. Now we have two of these spears. And uh, by all means... Let me know if you uh, know of any other spears that are actually available. Um, I'm not sure if I really like this particular weapon. I think it's cool, but I'm actually thinking that maybe this one is better. So I'm thinking maybe we want to use that instead. I don't know. I mean, obviously not instead of the spear, but instead of, you know, the, uh, the other thing. So I, I don't know, but I'm going to buy these boots because we kind of need them and I, I think I'm just going to save my fame for now. I don't see a reason for, for us to do anything else and I'm actually going to be ordering some more sturdy gear and then we're just going to be trading in spears and that's it. There we have it. All right. Yeah, so far it's seeming like this is not that difficult but who knows. Maybe it's going to be a little bit difficult as we go in here. I'm actually going to do this one versus one right now. Um, the main reason why I'm doing this one versus one instead of the other one is not due to the difficulty at all. It is actually due to the fact that the other is luck of the draw and I want to use my spear. And that's it. That's the only reason why I'm doing that. I'm just, I just want to use my spear because I think it's super fun. And uh, yeah, I don't really want to use some random weapon or whatever. Anyway, this guy is going to be much, much more difficult than what we are used to. So he might actually be difficult for us to deal with. Or maybe not, because that was a nice bit of damage right there. Okay, I'm just going to try and block him a little bit here. And that is it. Yeah, look at that. All right, so mm, I gotta say, in a one versus one situation, I think a spear is pretty difficult to use, all things considered. I'm actually kind of surprised that it is that difficult, considering I've actually gone up against people 
And obviously, because I am a, I'm a person, you know, I'm a human, I literally will just try to exploit the enemy and, and try to get within their, you know, in their in their combat range, try to crowd them out as long as they have a spear. Obviously, the AI is maybe not going to do that as much. They will probably try to do that, but they don't seem to be doing it that, mu that, that often, at least. And that's the thing. I still felt, even when the AI wasn't really doing that, I still felt like I was being crowded out and that, like the guy was actually doing a pretty decent job of, of maintaining that kind of space. So that's, that's kind of interesting. That is actually kind of interesting. Anyway, we have a pole armor here. Don't think I really want to go for that. I'm actually looking for some... Yeah, these are nice. All right, we're going to go for these. Gonna sell those. Don't really need those any further. And uh, we're gonna start upgrading our stuff, obviously, as time goes on. I'm just gonna try and find things that are looking decent-ish. And then we'll go on from there. And we can obviously heal ourselves here. I could go for greater mending, or we could go for some unionize. I think unionize might actually be kind of good. And even though I'm spending all of my fame right now, I think that's okay. Let's just go for a little bit more spear. I actually have 64 in spears now. Now, uh, I've got a question for you. I've got a question. When do you think we have achieved victory in the spear-only challenge? Because what I could do, uh, theoretically, is I could get to the personal goal of 100,000 fame. That could be the thing that we need to do each and every time we do a challenge run. We just do the the personal goal, or do you want me to reach a particular rank? Because if you want me to reach a particular rank, like Aspired or something like that, then we can try to do that, you know? We can try to do that, and we can see what happens. I think that might be quite cool. Um, but just let me know what you think, and, and we'll see what happens. But for now, that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.